Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Lucky Marine Rambles on about things happening on the map in EU4, playing as Japan. I think I got most of the interesting bits out there. So what's going on? France is still scary, Ottomans still scary, Morocco is still there. Russia is extending out a tendril towards us. Ew. We will we will beat it back with our own weird tendril that looks a little bit like a dragon's head. And Ming is nearly in our bellies. Haksai is in our bellies aggressively. And Yan. We allow Yan access. Therefore, Shun has their forces sat in our land by virtue of them being ours with Yan. So that's something that we have to do as soon as we're not at war and as soon as they've left, we need to revoke that access. Reverse course, I usually say the reverse course, yes, it's plus 5% technology, but we have things to convert and 1% will knock a month or two off all of these times, so. Plus one mission strength. It knocked a little bit more than just one month off, which is splendid. We will repay that loan. And hopefully Haxai has amassed a little bit of wealth that we can plunder from him. Contation with the natives. That's okay, because we never have uprisings. Conversion successful. Send him out again. Off you go. Contact I. Have all our calls come in from our last war? They have. So we can peace out of this one. We'll take all your money. Yeah, I expected more. We'll take that. We declared over that. And we might take all this as well. Which will give us 97 aggressive expansion with People who, again, don't matter. You can revoke your cause to stop people popping up there that used to belong to you. Stop rebels being Haxai separatists or whatever they are. And I think we piece out of that. Done. Japanese Manchuria grows ever stronger. Now, all the places where my troops are need I don't know. Increased autonomy. That's why are you so low? Really? How are you so low? Is it just because I've got dudes there? Come on, everyone, move out the promises and let's Let's gauge for ourselves the unrest. A little bit of unrest there. Bring that down. A bit of unrest here. Why? Mandate of Heaven lost. Oh, that's Ming territory. A little bit there. And everywhere else seems alright, actually. Yep. Colony has come self-sustaining, outstanding. We'll split you. Bit of corruption. We we shall root that out. Not we won't root. Yeah, we won't root it out that much. Let's not let's not do so much rooting. We can bring our maintenance down quite a lot. We have no. I I did say to split you holds 28, that holds 32, I'll split you again, you can march that way, you can go in there, okie dokie, not 0.5, we could live with not 0.5, well, well, that's not bad, not bad at all, next war will be with Yan, so 
let us fabricate some claims on do I want what do I want I want coastal provinces so let's go for if I can get this I can cut them in half so Ning Yuan Ning Yuan done at 25 we will 25 power we'll probably take Beijing it'll be expensive but we want to try get down to Yang, Beijing, Heijian and Wuding and uh, that'll be a good war for us right cause off you go Invest in new technology, I can. How about the institution? We'd need 2,000. 2,000 to embrace it. And we're still in the process of paying off the loans that we took in order to embrace the one in front. At least this one hasn't fired yet. And we can store quite a lot of points, so. Not so bad, I suppose. Okay, that's our claim. We have loans, I know. What rivals can we set? I don't want to, I don't want any of these. I don't want Ayataya because they're a little bit too far away. Hmm. We don't have much interest further north than where we are now. We only went down here to secure the trade node, the Malaccan trade node. So our next conflict is gonna be against Brunei for this province. Hmm. We could do with getting rid of all our loans. Could also do with somebody Somebody coming in to sort out our inflation. It's a ridiculous amount. And it takes. Yeah. It takes admin points to buy down as well. That's not good. I wish there was a building that would sort it out for you. We might make Manchu a accepted culture. I think we will make Manchu an accepted culture. As we will with Korea. Because... Let's have a look at the cultures. This A lot of this is in the Jiren uh, or Nippon trade node trade nodes that we pull from, especially this, with the coastal center of trade in the Nippon. So that's gonna help us there. The Manchu, it's just all of this. And so this is only gonna get more. Yeah, because there's no penalties. We may even Oh no. We might dibble dabble dibble dabble? We might <laughs> we might dibble dabble in some uh, cultural conversions of the of stuff that's under say ten percent. Just to get the most out of those provinces. And on we go. Let's speed fire for a little bit. Get some money in, pay some loans off. Get our claims against Yan, burn off some Beijing. Burn off some aggressive expansion and bring these cores in as well. New to loan, I don't care, I don't care. Incorruptible, death to spies. 
We must have caught a spy somewhere. Heretics have been deheretized. Wow. My mouth obviously can't make them shapes. Religious unity is hovering just above 100. But the amount of land that we're taking, because every single bit of land that we take is not going to be Shinto, because nobody else on the map is Shinto. The other red is Animist. Yep. Oh, there we go. In big, big letters there. So the more land we take, it, it just lowers our uh, religious unity. So, hmm. We are kind of keeping up with it, even though we have just one missionary. If I was to do it again, I don't know. If I was to do it again, I don't know if I'd take religious because the humanist has been very good to us. Excellent. Which means you now have eight. So, let's get you another one. What sort of money are we making? We have gained diplomatic. Uh, it's the turbo spastic child strikes again. What are you doing, Ming? You still don't have anyone. You still don't you? You're being a pain in my ass. Right, if we it's two thousand. 109 if we increase because we need to spend some of this military power now so if we increase the development around here we might be able to get this down to a palatable um, amount so there's got to be an institutions thing down here is there economic political that will be in political nope economic Institutions, institutions, there we go, institutions, right. We'll give you some military power. Um, up to the max that you can at the moment. Also give you some Give you some definitely. Hmm. There we go. We've made it present in two more provinces now. Properly present in two more provinces. So. Is this going to come down by a little bit? No. No. Two loans. Over a thousand in debt. But that's okay. On base tax, good. Conversion successful. Stupendous. Why can't I? Yeah, we're making you cause. That's alright. This, I hate this 50. All right. Japan gets campaign against syncretism. Syncre syncretism? What the hell, syncretism? Tolerance of the true faith is plus one. Clergy gets 15 loyalty. Better list this run this course. Mission strength is nice. I'm going to go for the missionary strength. Again, it, it'll, it'll knock a month off most of these. Okay, two months maybe. Again, missionary strength. Okay, okay. 
Oh, disloyal estates. I don't really care. Is there anyone here worth it? When the calls come in, I'm sure there will be. Won't be too long now. Outstanding. Come on. I need some more of you. Monetary reforms. Lose one stability and lose just one inflation. Or gain three. Lose one stability. To boost stability. It doesn't tell you how much it'd be to get back up to three. No. I'm not losing my, my hard earned stability. Not like this. Not like this. Heijan. Uh, Heijan's going to be difficult to take because it's the capital. So do I bother going down here or do I. Shenyang. I'll, I'll take Shenyang, I think. Six hundred and twenty for the next instalment. Damn you, Ming. Damn your eyes. I was so close. Still twenty four, nothing to sniff at. Reduce I should have reduced this a long time ago. It would appear. On maintenance, we're still making a decent amount. Alright, you can go and put them down, just in case they all merge up together. Oh dear. Well. 82%. The sooner Ming just gets out of my life, the better. I just, I can't be asked with him anymore. 32 on 8. Half morale. Speed 5. I should probably at least speed for it. Not that it's going to do much. At least this might make Ming happy with us. Less likely to insult us. Stupid fat Ming. Stupid fat Ming. Conversions coming in. Again. Superb. Get unconfunctioned. Ming occupied. Ming occupied. No, I occupied it for Ming. Oh. It looks like Ming couldn't be asked to turn in fort maintenance on yet again. But it's okay, we got there soon enough to be able to flip it straight back. Oh my god, Ming. Why can't you deal with your own shit? Alright, you get out of there. At this point, I'm not even angry. I'm just very confused. We get Shiskyo. National, un un la 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 la. National unrest goes up, but that's fine because our humanist amazing balls. National tax mile of the fire plus 10, four defense plus 10, don't care about four defense. Or we lose one prestige. Well, we don't really lose the money. We don't care about the four defense. National tax mile of fire is only plus five. Worth it. Worth it just not to have it. Oh, man. How can you be so shit? How? No wonder you fell apart. You didn't deserve any of this. Quite rightfully, it's going to be in our bellies. Alright, how much did we need to get the other one? Fabricate another claim. So we've got, we've got you, we've got you, we've got you. We'll go for... Huh. Even Andong is a coastal province. 
Go for Geyser. Right, Ming, done. We have cleared up your shit yet again. It's like having a small child or a dog. Don't know if you meant to compare the two, but they're very similar. Both need walks. That's okay. Malaka can claim it as their own if they want. It means they have to fight us for it. And even though we muddled through all our fights, we get there in the end. And that was our timer for this episode. Is there anyone we can... No. Still wants us to rival some of the superpowers of the world. Although saying that, we are technically better than Great Britain. What's our 2100? Okay. We only have one more loan. Once we've paid off this loan, we will we'll save up for that tech. Uh, we may even take four loans and get it in quick. I'll have to see. Well, every episode for like the past four episodes, I've said that we're close to integrating Ming and we never have. So I'm not going to say it this episode. Um, we probably will integrate them next episode. Might not even be the episode after that. We will have to see. But in this one, Hraxai no longer exists. Russia seems to have stalled a bit actually. And what sort of tech are we on compared to them? We're on 11, they're on 18. Oh my giddy on. Yeah, they're going to come and aggressively push our poop in. Even Bakara's on 17. Ming's on 14. But he doesn't care because he doesn't have any forces. Yeah, we've dropped. Wow, we've dropped behind. But I think getting the... Getting this deck. But then already having this deck. Will put us in a good position. I think... Do we take the loans out now? Do we take the loans out now? Because it's only money. One, two, three. Embrace. Done. Attack. Okay. 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 That was painful, but I feel a lot better. Now we just have to focus on point generation and paying off a horrific amount of loans, which hopefully Jan might be able to help us with. If I lower the maintenance for now, I will Banner infantry, yep, go. Reformed Asian step cavalry, we already had them. We already had the Padero. Well. Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? I could do with you being a little bit more happy. Is there anything that we can make a state? Eastern Mongolia and West Heliangoland. Might word. Shandong? Nope. 
Western Mongolia. Was it Western Mongolia? No, it was Eastern Mongolia. Eastern Mongolia. Yep. And West Fingerjig. Probably not you. Probably not you. Not you. Not you. Come on, sort it out. Not you. Out of Mongolia. Capital city of our Mongolia, anyone? Ulan Bator. That comes from Mr. Cunningham, my PE teacher when I was at school, who also took geography because back in those days, teachers had to do more than one job at once. Not at once, but you know what I mean. Come on, where's West? West Fingerjig. Oh, I just clicked past it. There we go. And yeah. He once asked the class if anyone can tell me the capital of Outer Mongolia, then they don't have to do this geography lesson and they can just go home. And for some reason, I knew, I don't know what I've been doing the previous months or weeks, but I I knew it. I had been reading up on something, reading a book about it or something, and I knew it, and I got to go home early. And everyone thought I was a dick. But I didn't care as I skipped home. Anyway, that, that has been, that has been me. Uh, well, give the clergy some land from those new states that we made and attempt to get out of this debt, attempt to get ahead of Yan. Now we are, we probably have better institutions than them. And yeah, it's gonna be exciting. I can't wait. For once, we might be on par tech wise at the at the cost of just millions of ducats but that's fine that's fine we can run at a loss every country runs at a loss so i've been looking marine you as always have been amazing join me next time for some more things and exciting things to happen and maybe a war or two and hopefully no no, no i'm not going to say it but me take care